Yeah, hi YouTube. Uh, it's Michael, and uh, today I'll show you my USB host controller PCB, which I just finished. It's a two-sided PCB, as you can see. Well, this time I I did everything. I I even uh, did the photo finish on the board because I didn't have any material left, two-sided material anyway. Uh, well, it's the FTDI Vinculum and uh, this is a USB host controller that can be used to connect uh, certain classes of devices uh, um, this is uh, something from the datasheet there is a number of different firmware versions available the one I have installed right now is that one where is my mouse uh, right, it's on port 2, this is the right one on my PCB, it supports a flash disk, a, a mass storage flash, a flash disk, and certain other um, peripherals like, say, a keyboard, uh, can be connected to port 1. But there are other firmwares uh, available, so you can do even more. So, once you have installed the IC you have to program it first, so program the flash disk, the flash on the IC. This is done by this part, the FT232, so this part is only there for programming the whole thing. Well, um, I haven't uh, written the, any application for it yet because it just finished, but I can show you what happens once I've, I I damage <laughs> connect a disk so you can see it accesses the disk well say the USB stick and then shows me right here that it is connected and um, the device is, is capable of accessing the file system on the stick, the master stick and you can use commands say to create open read files and all that stuff and it's all done directly while this interface can be connected via a uh, SPI interface or say a parallel interface and this is what those two, con two connectors are there for um, this is where you would connect your microcontroller unit so, um, glimpse on the schematic. I, need, I have to go there very short. So, this is the vinculum. It's just a glimpse. I cannot explain anything because this 10 minutes limit on YouTube doesn't permit it. And this is where all the data pins uh, in the different modes you can use for the monitor connection will be and all that stuff and this is the FT232 used for programming the device which I already did successfully yeah and glimpse on the PCB you have seen the PCB but um, I can show it to you in a higher resolution here. Well, yeah. This was the hard part because the vinculum really has a very fine pitch and it, it uses 8 mil structures around here. So this was the hard part. And the funny thing, um, the, uh, one of those tracks here was broken and I had to fix it. And actually, what I did, I used a single, uh, well, I had to fix it, it was very delicate, so, but I managed. Well, I'll show you more, more once I have um, done a, an actual application with this. So, thanks for watching, and see you soon.